Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hixie Dubs and again, I'm here with another video and this is going to be short and sweet. Uh, basically, um, I had problems with launching Marvel Ultimate Alliance um, in terms of if I wanted to do something else while I was playing the game, for instance, bring up a website or another uh, program for whatever reason, you can't multitask. You can't window the game. It's extremely annoying. But there is a way to do that, and it's called DX Wind or DX WND. And this nice little program, link will be in the description. This nice little program, when you download it, you can uh, open up a window like this, you add the game, and then you launch from here. So I'm going to go through with you very, very quickly because it's uh, it's very easy. You just go to the website. You download the program into a folder here. So I, I put it on my desktop so I can access it much more easily. Um, so once you've done that, you open up here and you open up this little program here called DXWND. And once you open up, you should have something like this, but you won't have the icon here. What you need to do is right click, add, and you name whatever the program you want. You select the path. So you find where the game is. So you need to find the application and you select that. And you do the same for the launch. It has to be exactly the same. And you obviously call it whatever you want. So you call it Marvel Ultimate Alliance or whatever your program is called. Next, you want to do desktop center. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you how to uh, have it full screen on your desktop without um, uh, without it being pixelated or because the first time you load it is uh, is in a certain coordinate and it'll come up in a little box by here and you don't want that so what you want to do is you want to do 1920 if you want to play it at uh, HD settings at 1080 um, and then next you want to go to uh, where is it video and you want to go here to see th this works for me it might not work for you uh, to 1080 um, and you want to click on initial resolution and that should be it and then you click OK now I've done all this so um, I can just show you my settings here. Um, they're exactly the same. Desktop center, 1920 by 1080. Um, I didn't click initial resolution. Um, it was a little bit on and off for me. So sometimes it may work for you, sometimes it might not. But I put it in there just in case. I kept the screen resolution as SVGA. I don't know what that is. I don't know why. When I tried to put HDMI, it came up pixelated. So I decided to just put it back here and it's been fine ever since. So I will show you, uh, you just double click on it. And so it take it does take a while to load up. I'd say about 20 to 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, uh, depending uh, on the game. My, my uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is uh, quite modded. Uh, it has a few mods on there. So it, it does depend on the game. Sometimes it'll load up uh, quicker than normal, but it does have to uh, load up through this program. So that's probably why it's taken up a little bit of time there. Uh, but other than that, it should work fine for you. It definitely works fine for me. I just tried it out and uh, yeah, works perfectly fine. And it's very useful as well because I can switch to the second screen if I wanted and do what I need to do there. Uh, for instance, I wanted to stream this game actually uh, at some point uh, on my Twitch channel. And when I load this game up, it's, uh, it's stuttering. It's, it's very uh, blocky and just unresponsive and slow. So this is the first time that I'm going to be loading up while Streamlabs is on because I haven't tried it actually like this so this is going to be a new experience so hopefully it fixed the stuttering and if so that is great <laughs>
Well, okay, that's great. Let's begin story. Um, yeah. Move out. Right. I right. So it's stuttery again because uh, Streamlabs is loading, and that's the only reason why. Other than that, as you can see. It works, you know, I got my mouse, I can go over here and then come back over here. So the, the only reason why it's stuttering it is because it's, it, it's not responsive well to Streamlabs OBS. I don't know why. I will have to try and find another way of recording gameplay or streaming it because, um, yeah, it's not good. Um, I mean, the main thing is I might want to, I, I just want to record gameplay for this. So I don't know what program to use for that. I may use try with uh, fraps and see uh, if that works. But even then, if I wanted to stream the game, I can use Streamlabs OBS. Uh, it's not going to work for me. But anyway, other than that, this video is about DX windowed, so it works fine for that. So any questions, guys, just be sure to put in the descript uh, in the uh, comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But it should work for some games, not all. I just want to make that point there. It may not work for all games. This is not a 100% solution for all your gaming needs. But this will work on certain games. So if you have any questions or any issues, just be sure to post them. And I'll, uh, I'll try and reply and get back to you. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I hope this has been uh, informative and uh, useful for you. And that's it. I'll uh, catch you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.